Yeah, Stacy. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. How are you guys? My name is Stacy. I just want to say a few words. Um, we're here to protest for justice for George Floyd. Um, George Floyd was somebody's son. That was somebody's uncle. That could have been anybody related to us. And he had a daughter back at home that is so young and has her father taken away from her. So we're sitting here fighting for justice for black lives. And with the All Lives Matter movement, to my people who believe in that, I just want to let you guys know we're not excluding that other lives don't matter. We're not only saying we're not saying that only black lives matter. We're just saying that at the time right now, black lives black lives are getting targeted the most. I try to put it in an example for other people to understand. Like, if someone's house is on fire, we're gonna go towards that house because that's where people are suffering and dying. And other people will say, well, what about my house? We're not saying your house isn't important, but is your house on fire right now? No, it's not. So the house that's on fire right now is what needs help the most. So that's what the Black Lives Matter movement is all about. And I just want to give clarification for the people who are all about the all lives. I just want to give further clarification. And for my people who are spiritual and go to church, I always like to refer to the verse about the 100 sheep. When 99 follow God and one goes astray, God is going to that one that is astray. He's not worrying about the 99. He's going to the one that's astray. So that's what the Black Lives Matter movement is all about. At the end of the day, we need to stop racism because there's only one race and that's the human race, okay? At the end of the day, when me, you fall down, all our blood bleeds red. It don't matter if you're purple, oriental, white, black, it don't matter. We all bleed red at the end of the day. We need to spread love, not hate. We need to bring peace upon this because as a nation we can come together so strong and be, and create change but change starts with us making actions we can't just say we're gonna do something we have to be about it also and that starts off with voting if you're a citizen take those rights and vote what did Martin Luther King Rosa Parks and all those people fight for they didn't fight for us to just sit here and do nothing we have social media at the tips of our hand we have computers we have technology use that to the best of your ability Start researching who your governors are. See if their um if their um you know beliefs align with yours, cause that's where it starts. The government, the government. So we need to make change. We need to do research, and we just we just need to come together and love. Okay, I just want to express loving you guys because we're not only here for George Floyd. We're here for Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, Trayvon Martin. There's so many names: Philando Castile, Alton Sterling. Sandra Bland, the list goes on and on. And how many of them were not even filmed that we don't know about? We need to get woke, you guys. Stay woke. Black lives matter. Spread love. Don't spread hate. And let's bring peace and create change. It starts with us. We are the change. This is what our brothers and sisters fought for. Thank you.